Hello friends, it's time again for another Cooking with Carl, and I know you're thinking, Carl, so soon, how are you doing it? You know, quite frankly, I have no idea how I keep up this upload schedule. Uh, it's probably not going to last for long, this is kind of a special occasion. A uh, co-worker of mine wasn't having such a great day, and you know, I said, can I make you something? You know, so, lesson of the day. If you see somebody struggling, you just you just reach out to them, you know? You just reach out. And the way you reach out is you make them something to eat. And in this case, special K bars. Now I say special K with, well, well quote, quotey boys, uh, because you don't have to use special K. Really, these are just kind of elevated Rice Krispie bars with chocolate on them. So, first step, get out all your ingredients. So, of course we have our cereal, peanut butter, chocolate chips in the back here, and then of course sugar and syrup. I've already pre-greased two pans because I'm making a double recipe. Uh, so, lesson number two of the day, uh, if something's worth doing, it's probably worth doing uh, twice. So. Now is the part of the show where I get to so show you my very dirty uh, stove top. So we have two cups of sugar in here. Normally it's one, but we're doubling it. And to that we're gonna add two cups of syrup. Uh, now I didn't get uh, caro syrup like the recipe called for, but uh, in this case, we're gonna do the old uh, Carl Classic. Now that is, uh, cross your fingers and hope it works. <laughs> After all, this is Special K Bars, and uh, my nickname, one of many, uh, was Special K at, at, at some point in time. Uh, shout outs to those who, who know that. Uh, so we're going to heat this up until it starts bubbling around and makes some sort of a caramel thing. And then we're going to mix in the cereal. Now, since we're making a double recipe, the issue here is, how do we double it? So... The biggest struggle that I have is that the uh, cereal here uh, is we have to use seven cups. Now this is very important for consistency in the bars, but since seven cups and this thing here is 12, we got to have more than one box. Do your math ahead of time before you go to the grocery store so you do not have to go back and buy more uh, crispy rice in this case, you know, generic cereal. Uh, shouts out to Aldi uh, for the uh, for the cereal. Of course, they're not sponsoring this, but hey, Aldi, uh, if you're watching, uh, shoot me a few bucks, huh? While you're waiting for the sugar to warm up, uh, measure yourself out three cups of peanut butter, um, because where else are you going to put it in a bowl? And then think, wow, that's a lot of peanut butter, but also there's a spoon and there's a bowl. I kind of want to just eat the peanut butter out of the bowl. Like, anybody else with me on this? You know, I mean... Anyway, uh, it's getting pretty close. Uh, it's supposed to cook it until it starts bubbling up at the sides. And it's not bubbling much, so I'm going to give it a little bit more time. Alright, as you can see, it is starting to bubble. And it's got a nice bubble line around the edges. I hope this is good enough to start stirring in the peanut butter uh, <laughs> uh, and then of course once we start in the peanut butter I have a whole bag of this rice cereal followed by two cups to equal 14 which is double the seven uh, chocolate comes later don't worry about the chocolate yet so we're gonna stir this into this mixture and then take that out and put it immediately into these greased pans. All right, the three cups of peanut butter is now in. We're just gonna try and stir it up and hopefully it'll collect together into some sort of liquid amorphous mass. It's kind of hard to stir and I feel like I'm not gonna be able to fit uh, 14 cups of cereal into this, uh, <laughs> into this pan, so I'm kind of, 
I'm kind of worried. Um, but hopefully, hopefully we don't have too big of an issue here. I'm not used to stirring with my left hand, but my hand is more steady on my right, and I feel like if I switch, the camera's going to be too shaky, and we're going to have problems. But, as you can see, it's uh, the peanut butter is breaking down little by little, so we have essentially made peanut butter syrup. Now, this would be probably good enough to bottle and put in jars, but uh, of course, we're not doing that. We're doing the next best thing, which is coating a bunch of cereal with it, because this is, this is America, this is what we're doing. So there, look at that, isn't that nice and smooth? Isn't that nice? Huh? Isn't that nice? All right, now it's all mixed up. I've made the executive decision to not add the final two cups that are still sitting there all lonely and sad uh, because this is a pretty darn good mixture. So it'll just be less heavy on the cereal bit and heavier on the other stuff. So now once this is mixed, I'm going to divide it into half and there it goes. And there you have it, folks. And you might think, well, Carl, how did you so expertly divide and spread all of this out so neatly because he didn't show it. Well, there's two reasons why I didn't show it. Uh, number one, uh, I required two hands to do the scooping. And number two, if I tried to do it with one hand, uh, it would have taken too long. And this is one of those where you have to work with malleable material before it hardens. Kind of like concrete, except this is very yummy concrete. So now we've essentially made uh, peanut butter bars or peanut butter rice krispies, um, you know, trademark. Uh, but you know, we're not done yet. We still got the sneaky little. Ooh, what's this? Is this chocolate chips? Stay tuned. Don't forget, you gotta scrape out your bowl. Uh, this is probably gonna be one you're gonna need to like soak in the sink if you're gonna do that. Uh, don't use soak in the sink as a way to just not do dishes and put them off till later. Uh, it's a trap. Don't do it. I don't know who needs to hear this, but uh, sometimes dishes do need to soak in the sink. But to use that as an excuse to not do dishes or be like, oh, I'll do it later. It's a bad idea. Bad idea. Don't do that. Now, here's our dilemma. What do we do to melt the chocolate chips? Well, there's lots of ways you can do that. Um, but you're probably thinking, oh, Carl, you're wearing a, a chef's hat and an apron. You probably think you're pretty fancy. You're probably going to do the double boiling method and temper the chocolate and then pour the tempered chocolate over the top, right? Yeah? Well, I could. Can't say that I have. Um, but let me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Just hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. You see, see this right here? This is a microwave. Uh, these things exist. So I'm just going to melt this in the microwave and pour it over the top. And it's going to be just as good. It's going to be just as good. Really. Really. Honestly. Believe me. Would you eat these by themselves, not melted? Yes. Yes, you would. I know you would. So it's going to be just as fine in the microwave as it would be otherwise. And that's why the recipe that I got says to use a microwave, okay? If you want to be fancy, be fancy. Have fun. You know, get your mirror glaze nonsense on your glorified Rice Krispie treats. But me, I like to keep it simple. And as we like to say on this channel, does it look good? Yeah, no. But does it taste good? Oh, heck yeah. Now, a little before and after, uh, again, I'm using a semi-sweet chocolate morsels here because I feel like the little touch of bitterness will go well with uh, how sweet these are. And uh, this is about two cups, give or take a little, to about one bag, just in case you're wanting to know. Uh, this does not say anywhere uh, two cups on it. It measures in uh, tablespoons as you can see there, uh, and 
I'm not smart enough to just con to convert it from tablespoons to cups. So uh, here's the work for you. Check that out. Now it does say two cups, uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens after the fact. Check in in a little bit. Now this is after one bag of chocolate. Uh, as you can see, not a lot of chocolate coverage all the way to the edges. So this is really gonna be a two bags of chocolate per pan deal. And there you have it folks, two bar pans. Bada bing, bada boom. You enjoy the rest of your week. Um, I'm gonna be bringing this pan right here to my coworkers, and I'm bringing this pan right here uh, to my family. Uh, never forget your family. Shout out to mom and dad, love you both. Uh, also, shout outs to Natalie, my coworker, uh, who inspired this video. I will see you in the next one. Keep on rocking in the free world.